Tokyo because Nagoya was kind of like Detroit. Um, well, Nagoya did have like sort of the, like you guys know host clubs, right? Like Oran High School. Okay, so hostess clubs are not considered prostitution, and it's like totally the thing to do when you're bored at night. And you go there. We went. And then we were like across the street from not the red light district, but like the nightlife place. We were we were we were trying to find uh, oh, wait. Oh, we, were, we were we were trying to look for uh, takoyaki. Because I love takoyaki. So we were trying to look for a takoyaki place. So, um, and then we kind of uh, got confronted with a lot of really cute Japanese girls in red dresses and very poofy hair. Oh yeah, they were so adorable. And I kind of wanted to go to a hostess club just to check it out. It's very expensive. But it's also expensive. Yeah. If we had the money, we totally would have done it. We would have. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh. And we went to Maid Cafe. Singapore, uh, one of the girls is Berlin. She now lives in Japan. Uh, she works at the same maid cafe as Kippy. I'm not sure if you guys know who Kippy is. Oh, well, I do. I think she's cute. <laughs> it's not really a maid cafe. It's a maid cafe slash cosplay academy boarding school. Oh. I don't know. But we went to a different maid cafe, and the girls there really were in maid uniforms. And they, they would, like, have a little curtsy and then talk in Japanese. We had no idea what we were saying. We're like, toast, onegaishima. <laughs> and then and then they like talk more Japanese and they curtsy. They were so cute. <laughs> no, Kippy's in China right now for eight months. But the maid cafes were spectacular. They did. They were very polite and curtsied after everything, and they were very um, formal with us as well. I I, had, I was we were sitting there really like, oh my god, we're in a maid cafe. This is so cool. <laughs> And Akihabara is, is exactly, it's, it's like, it's, it's blocks and blocks of anime and video game stores and doujin stores and cosplay stores. Not so much, we couldn't find as many, much, much cosplay there, but they have pre-made resin and jewels and I wanted to kill myself. Um, any questions about Japan? Yeah, yeah. we did karaoke. Oh wait, who asked the question? What? Yeah, oh, wait, karaoke. karaoke. Yeah, we did. We did karaoke, and um, everyone was singing Japanese, and I was like, screw this, I don't know Japanese, so I was just uh, saying Queen instead. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, uh, wait, guy in red shirt with blue hat? Or did you have a question? Or? Uh, yes, um, what was your most memorable part about the church in Japan? The Buddhist temple. Uh, we were walking, kind of just uh, looking for a fabric shop, weren't we? Yeah. We were looking for a fabric shop. It was closed. So we were kind of just like, you know, let's just walk around. And uh, we came across this incredibly big Buddhist temple. And we're like, damn, there's nobody here. Let's check it out. So we kind of snuck in there. And all of a sudden, like, all these monks come out of nowhere. And they're like, not all these, like, like three of them. <laughs> I like to exaggerate things. So these, so these monks come out of nowhere, and they're like, would you like to partake in the ceremony? Like all the well, obviously, well, they were no, saying one, of them, spoke a no, one of them spoke English, actually. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, do you want to, you have to do this and this, and, and we actually got to partake in this, in the Buddhist uh, morning ceremonies. And it was, you cried. I cried. She I cried. cried. She cried. <laughs> I, I was close to tears, but I wasn't quite there it was, it was really amazing. Like, it was just so tremendously welcoming. They, like, they, they brought us into their, their temple or whatever, and they, they did the whole, I guess, purification ritual to bells and, like, anointed us with incense that they then burned. And it was just, it was so amazing. I was really surprised that as a complete outsider and someone who literally just kind of rudely wandered into their living room, <laughs> that, uh, that they would be so welcoming to us. It was really very touching. Um, Besides the other places that you had mentioned just earlier on, what other hot spots do you think that you tell everyone else about that would be you know, interesting to go to? Hot spots in Japan. What do you like to do? Shibuya. Oh, let me tell you about Shibuya. Okay, so I'm obsessed with World Ends with you. Like, I love this game. Okay, so I go into Shibuya and I go into the crossing and I start freaking out because oh my god, I'm in the crossing. Oh, and then I broke the Hachiko statue and I was like, oh, and then we had to leave because we only were there for 10 minutes. Shibuya, it's exactly like the game. Oh my god. It was like the movie. Everything was It was, oh. Uh, Harajuku was pretty cool. Harajuku, if you love Japanese fashion,